Hey guys, I uh, just want to show you a quick video on how to do uh, hip range of motion. So for the hip, uh, the only two accessible measures that you're going to get on the practice exam are hip flexion and hip extension. So I'm going to start by showing you guys hip flexion. Um, so I've got Jack lying down supine, basically means he's lying face up. Um, and for hip flexion today we're going to do it with a straight knee. So he's going to keep his knee straight the whole time. Um, the three landmarks that we need to find, our fixed arm is going to be along the axis of his trunk. The uh, axial rotation is going to be around about where his uh, greater trochanter is. And then his movable arm is going to be along the axis of his femur, basically pointing towards the lateral epicondyle of the femur. Okay. So what I'll do first is I'll get Jack to um, keep his knee straight. We're also going to ask him to keep his ankle plantar flexed as well. And he's basically just going to keep his knee straight and then flex his hip up as high as he can. Okay. So once he's in that position, I'm going to line up my three landmarks. And relax. And again, as we look at the goniometer, we've got two measures here. We've got um, 65 degrees and 125. And remember, this would be zero because this is an ankle position. So all the way up would be 90. He didn't quite reach that, so obviously we're going to go with the smaller measure, which is more sensible, so that would be 65 degrees. Okay? Now, for hip extension, we're going to use the exact same landmarks. This time we're going to flip Jack onto his front. This is called prone position. Um, landmarks are going to be exactly the same. We're still going to have a fixed arm along the axis of his trunk. The axis of rotation, again, will be the greater trochanter, and then the movable arm along the axis of his femur. Okay. Now this time I'm just going to get Jack to extend his hip as much as he can while keeping his knee straight. This time ankle position doesn't matter as much. Okay? So his ankle can just be relaxed, nice and neutral. So Jack, when you're ready, just extend that hip as much as you can. Good. And I'm just going to line up those three landmarks and take a measure. There we go. And relax. And obviously with this position here being at top position, that's only zero degrees. You can see he didn't move a whole lot, so this small value here of 20 degrees is going to be our sensible answer, and that's how you measure hip extension.